Hello, good morning. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, this is your host, Santos Capitan Jr. Always wishing you good day. Guys, today what I'm going to show you is another routine wherein it is a mask in a computer cafe, okay? Now, uh, actually, the one that I'm going to show you is this transfer station button. Now, let me explain what is transfer button uh, station, okay? Now, actually, uh, as you can see here, PC number two, I log it in at 6.33. Okay. Now, the current uh, amount to be paid by this station number two is around 12.75. Okay. Then, uh, actually, we have four stations available. Then maybe the user here will try to, this, uh, will try to change his mind. And he will tell the uh, the guy manning the cafe that he wants to transfer the station, but for whatever reason. Okay. Then what you can do is you can click this button. Okay. So transfer station. Now our routine is it will ask transfer to what station. Okay. So there are four available. PC number one, three, four, and five. Now let's decide that maybe he said, okay, I want to transfer in station number one because maybe the location of station one is somewhat uh, like it's uh, secluded, okay? So there's some privacy in there. So he wants to transfer to that station. Okay, so I will say transfer to that station, then the, the man, the man who is manning the uh, cafe will just type it in here, one, okay? Then you will just say, okay. So what will happen when we press this okay? So the login is 6.23. So PC number two, uh, it was logged in at around 6.33, okay? So if it is in the morning, okay, 6.33 in the morning. Then you want to transfer in station number one, okay? So again, uh, we already... Specify the number of station he wants to transfer. And as you can see here, there we have here the computer login history. Computer to login time is 6.33, okay? Then we have here also, I uh, I have added another list here for the transfer history because we want to trace everything what is happening in the cafe, okay? Now, so let's say uh, we will transfer one, okay? So what should happen is, the login time here should be the login time of computer number two. Okay, so let's say okay. Now, uh, what will happen is we're going to clear this row. Okay, then transfer this login time of PC2 to login time of PC1. Okay, then continue uh, computing for the amount to pay. Then I will say okay. Now, as you can see here, 6.33. So computer to login, 6.33. Then I log it, I, I transferred it to station one. So again, computer one login time is 6.33. Actually, the time is already 7.27. Okay. So, uh, okay, then for the transfer history, computer one login time is 6.33 from station two. So this uh, list box will try to trace uh, what happened to the time in of a computer, like this one, computer one login time 6.33 from station two. So meaning if there is some information here or some items added into this list box, meaning that uh, computer uh, transfer station happens, okay? So as you can see here, computer one login time 6.33 from station two, okay? So uh, it's very clear here. Now from station two, it moved to station one. Then again, station two is ready for uh, to be used by other users. Okay? So the uh, login time is 7.28. Log PC one is 6.32 from, okay. As you can see here, computer to login time again. Computer to login time is 7.28. Then it will start counting here. So that is the, uh, routine for transfer station. 
Now let let me show you. Okay, let me change my. Uh, okay, where is this one? Uh, let me change my. Okay, this one. Share. Okay. Now, okay. Let me minimize this. Let's minimize this. I hope you are seeing my share screen. Okay. Uh, again, let me share new share. Okay, this one. Share. Okay. Now, so this is now what I'm going to show you is how I did the routine transfer routine. Okay. Now I'm just going to show you one. Okay. So what I did here again. Uh, now uh, I have created here one uh, variable here class level. Okay. So station transfer. Okay. Now I have created a sub procedure here, transfer station. Okay. Now what I'm going to do in transfer station is this. I'm going. Uh, I I added one uh, variable here, uh, that type of string. So this is what is happening when you click the transfer station. So it's the station transfer to is equals to. I'm using an input box. Then I'm asking transfer to what station. Okay. So whatever is uh, type there it will be assigned to this variable the string type okay now now and what i'm going to do is i'm uh, using here another uh, control structure which is the select case okay select case station transfer to so i'm checking what is the value of station transfer variable now if it is case is one if case is one or string is equals to one then if button login enabled, now I'm checking it, the button for the login for that specific station is still enabled, is enabled, then I can transfer it there. Else, if it is not enabled, if it is not enabled, this one, the station is not available. So we cannot transfer in an occupied station. Okay. So let me just show you here. So case is one, he wants to transfer to uh, station one and it is available. Then if it is coming from station two, meaning if it is coming from station two, then I'm uh, assigning a, a number two to a computer num variable, okay? Then station transfer, this is the one I declared in the class level, equals one, okay? Then PC timer, two, of course, it's coming from station number two, so I have to stop the timer for PC timer two, the one that is computing the amount to pay. Now, okay, so I need to, I need to uh, assign the login hour of PC two and login minute of PC two to login PC one hour and login minute PC one hour. This is the station wherein it's going to transfer, okay? Then, Again, I need to try. I need to uh, what you call this one. I need to uh, let me show you. I need to put this information. Okay. Okay. I need to put that information in this uh, text boxes. Okay. So let me go back there. Okay. Now I need to enable the timer for PC one. Okay. So that it will continue uh, computing for the amount of pay. Then list history one. Now I need to, of course, I need to call the history for login time. Then I need to clear the row for PC2, the information in PC2 rows. Then I need to add this station or I, I need to add this information to our transfer history list box. Okay. Now if it is coming from the same approach for other station if it's coming from station three do the same thing if it's coming from station four do the same thing if it's coming from station five do the same thing now again you have to check case is two if it's going to transfer to station two so the same approach will be used okay then you need to check also is if it is three then you need to do the same approach if it is going to transfer in station four then again you need to uh, do the same approach, okay? Then case five, it's going to transfer to five, then do the same approach, okay? Now, actually, this is uh, not very short uh, logic, 
But let's say if you already expert in formulating new logic, then you can make this a little bit shorter. Okay. But anyway, uh, I would like to give emphasis that what I'm trying to do here is just to give you an idea how, for the beginners, how are you going to do it, okay? Then later on, if you are already an expert, then you can try to rewrite the code in a simpler way, in a neat and clean logic, okay, or code, okay? So anyway, that is our, uh, let me again go to the new share, okay, wait a minute. New share. Where is my running application? I think I have a running application here. Just give me a minute. Okay. Share. Okay. So this is my uh, login station. Now let's try to see if we can move this uh, number two. Okay. So I will transfer this uh, to another station. Okay. So I will transfer it to five. Okay. So as you can see, that station to log in at 7.28, okay? Now the time is 7.35. So I transferred it to PC number five. So PC number five login is 7.28, which is the original login of PC number two. Then I have the information here, computer five login time, 7.28 from station two. So meaning from station two, uh, it log in to computer or transfer to computer number five, which is being shown in here. Okay. Likewise, I can say I will log this out. Okay. So the amount to pay is 1555. So we have the information keep computer one logout time 735. Amount to pay is 1555. Then paid. Okay. Then log computer number one is now again available for use. Okay, so guys, that is the transfer station routine. Now, I almost did all the necessary routine here, but maybe I will try to add some information here, like uh, if someone wants, if, let's say your cafe is selling something, so we will include it here, okay? Then I will, it will be the next tutorial for this uh, series of programming tutorial using Visual Basic. So once again, thank you very much for joining me here. And if you're new to my channel, Please help me promote it by subscribing. You can like, share, and put your comments. Again, this is for beginners. This is not for experts. So uh, I'm doing this to help uh, engineering graduates who wish to join uh, BMS or building management system or building automation, wherein you have a very less uh, or you have only one subject in computer wherein you want to learn some programming in uh, computer programming. Okay, so before I will end this one, uh, let's all be safe. God bless us all. And bye for now.